How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Now last summer I installed a new Mr. Cool 36,000 BTU or three ton duct system. Specifically, this is their universal hyperheat system or their fourth generation of hardware. Now this is the only cooling and heating source for this thousand square foot home that I renovated. And I did have some questions when we get the cold Illinois winters, let's say zero degrees Fahrenheit or below, will the system be able to actually produce heat in this home and maintain a 70 to 71 degrees Fahrenheit thermostat temperature without any supplemental heat? That was a big question I know I personally had. And knowing that this system is a heat pump common to many, many split systems, many people would think below freezing and down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, that system would have no hope of producing heat. Well, over the last few days, we're really putting this thing to the test. And at night, we we're getting down to as low as negative nine degrees Fahrenheit with highs only really in the single digits. So it's really exercising the system and seeing if this heat pump can actually produce heat in such brutal low ambient conditions. So let me show you the results. I'll give you a quick overview of the system and then we'll use a simple thermometer to see what is the temperature of the air coming out of our registers and is it able to maintain that 71 degrees Fahrenheit thermostat setting or are we slowly slipping away down into the 60s, which is a concern for many of us is that it's just simply not gonna maintain that temperature. So let's jump into it and go take a look at the unit. So here is the indoor unit for the 36,000 BTU. And again, this is the universal hyper heat kind of the latest generation. I swapped out that old oil burner. So I had to do some modifications for the cold air return that comes down. So we'll come down into this filter box, which serves as a stand as well for the unit. Then the flow goes up and through the unit. And really the key to these DIY systems are these lines that have vacuums in them. So if you install everything leak free here and then open your two valves both on your indoor and outdoor unit, you shouldn't have to call an HVAC tech and get up and running as a DIY kit without needing any additional help. Now this unit is powered here. It's got a disconnect inside. It's a 15 amp 240. So a low amperage, but 240 for the indoor unit. And then you use a 240 50 amp for the 36,000 BT or three ton system on the exterior portion. So we'll just open things up here, showing you inside. So you have on the bottom port, you'll have your evaporator coil, your blower fan, pulling it up and through the smarts of the system here. And one thing to note here, there's an additional spot for a heat kit. You can add basically an industrial hair dryer here in the range from five kilowatts up to 20 kilowatts. Now this unit would pull an insane amount of power if you actually needed that and were utilizing all the way up to 20 kilowatts. But for this installation and test, there's no additional heat kit. It's just leveraging the heat pump. And this is what we're looking at for the outdoor unit. First we'll check the temp and we're barely over zero degrees Fahrenheit now. Like I said, it was negative last night. No snow cover. Uh, the unit's been working hard though. And you can see we have quite a bit of condensation coming off then immediately freezing at the base. But with these temperatures, let's go ahead and see what kind of temperature we can get out of our registers just utilizing the heat pump. Now with that outside temp close to zero, we are commanding 71 degrees Fahrenheit as our set point for our thermostat on the standard Mr. Cool thermostat. So it is in the heating cycle with the fan set to auto with the room temp at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So now let's use this digital thermometer at our register and see what the temperature of the air coming out is once it stabilizes. So not too bad, a little bit over 91 degrees Fahrenheit for the air coming out, and it looks to have no trouble keeping up with the cold ambient conditions and delivering heat to the living space. Now overall, 
I am pretty darn impressed. The specifications on the universal hyperheat system, the one that I actually installed, said it could easily deliver heat at these ambient conditions and actually go all the way below negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll see a link in the description below to the exact unit I am using because not all heat pumps are gonna be created equal. So do your homework depending on what kind of installation you're gonna have. I also see a lot of skepticism in a poll we put out to everyday home repairs through the community tab where about 50% of the audience thought that the heat pump would not deliver heat in these type of conditions and 50% of the audience thought it could. This aligns well to just the understanding of heat pumps and how far we've come over the last decade or two. The advances have been impressive with the technology and we keep pushing down the low ambient capability of these units. Now if you need more information we have a ton more information on this unit. Up top here, you'll see a video that'll break down the labor and cost and the substantial amount that I saved doing this project myself. Down here is that full installation video that'll walk you through each and every step. And on this video here, we'll actually show you the breakdown of energy consumption over on our everyday solar channel. We're trying to always understand the power and energy demands from our appliances in our homes. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.